All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Master Mark, and it's my pleasure to welcome you back to Prison Architect. Now, in the last episode, we went ahead and we set up some sniper towers, some CCTV cameras, and some cell blocks. And now, we're just make, trying to make some money to get some more cash to build more stuff. I mean, really, isn't that the whole game when I describe that? You know, build some stuff, make more money. That's kind of my objective here. And we'll be getting a whole bunch of prisoners soon, and that's good. We built this gigantic dormitory down here. And that should... And that should get us a whole bunch of people and a whole bunch of money. We should think about getting another parole office or something. That was something I thought we needed to do. Reschedule those programs. Huh. Nobody wants in the programs, huh? Nobody wants in workshop safety. Hmm. That's fine. Pharmacological treatment of drugs. Nobody really wants in that. Behavioral therapy and alcoholic group therapy. Those are all both things we need to do. All right. Okay, so, what's on our plate for the day? I suppose that we should get some more psychologists. That's something I noticed. We don't have enough psychologists in the open areas in order to get, like, behavioral therapy for our prisoners. And that's something we need. We need behavioral therapy for our prisoners in addition to other stuff. So let's see. How big does an office need to be? An office needs to be... 4x4. Four four. Can we just stick it back here? No, we can't. Alright. So the question becomes, where are we going to stick it? I'll tell you what, why don't we go ahead and create some parole offices down here. This will be an 8x7 area. Now, how big do... We... Oh, hey! A fight started in the chapel. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Violent. Violent group of people. Alright, so what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. We're gonna want to create. We're gonna create another eight by seven parole parole room. Seven by seven it should be eight by seven. We're gonna create a door here. We're gonna create some parole rooms and then some offices through here. We're gonna put a parole room and then some like protective custody dormitories through here. That's our plan. And then we're gonna create a two by something walkway. It's going to be another internal hallway. That's how I'm feeling like I want to do it. Then we're going to create it going up here. And it's going to connect through here. And we're going to make the we're going to make the kennel a bit bigger, I figure. It'd be good to make the kennel a bit bigger and we're going to connect these places through the kennel. Staff door through the kennel and that'll take everyone through just fine take down that and this will be protective custody and this right here is going to be a parole room this is likely going to be expensive but you know what i like the aesthetic look of hallways and offices i like it makes me feel like things are clean and all great like having the everything separated you know it's like that off offspring song keep them separated and that's what you need to do to keep these rooms looking clean and nice now let's go ahead and put a parole room right here. And the reason I want another parole room is because whenever we release someone early, it gives us extra money. It gives us a big old bonus when it comes to cash. And it also means that that person gets to leave. Oh, hey, a death. Someone died in the... Oh, no. Someone died in here. Who died? I can't see him. Huh. Who's that? Who's that? Killed for being a snitch. That is why we need protective custody. We need to set up protective custody so that way people keep, don't get killed for being a snitch. And tell you what, people getting killed is bad. I think it, it lowers our evaluation. Speaking of that, how's our prison grading right now? Not terrible. Not terrible. What just happened? Is there a fight going on? Oh, hey. There's a conflict going on in the... Oh, no, there's another death. Was, did she killed for being a snitch? Another, another dead person because they were a snitch. You know what? We need to recruit some informants. You there. You there. I see you. You're willing to become an informant. Recruit. Recruit these two. I need those informants. I need to know who is 
Oh no, there's... Okay, that person is deadly and fearless. Super max. Alright, so that means our next sort of steps are going to be super max and... And protective custody. I think protective custody should come first because they are more at risk. Yeah, they're more at risk than the... We can deal with the Supermax people by just throwing them in jail. But we can't really just throw the uh, protective custody in jail forever. I don't think that'd work well. So we're going to have to create their own little cell block. And their own little kitchen. And their own little everything. So this here, this is going to be a 9x8. This is going to be a protective custody um, dormitory. It's going to be where we keep the protective custody people. And speaking of that, why don't we go ahead and just make a, uh, reschedule all that. Let's go ahead and make a regime for protective custody while we're at it. Protective custody. Do we have anyone in protective custody? Let's check. Do we have any snitches around? Any other snitches? Snitch, ex-prison guard. That's not good. Protective custody. Stoical. Ex-law enforcement. Protective custody. Fearless, extremely tough, deadly... Alright, I don't see anyone else that's protective custody. Ex-law enforcement. Protective custody. There we are, that's better. Um, the only place that it will raise uh, concerns is if they need a family cell. In which case it'll become a little more, a little more difficult. But hey, it won't be the end of the world at least. Let's go ahead and create a little area for the protective custody people to stay. Let's create some bunk beds in the back. It's going to be like a luxury cell for them, I suppose. It's going to be like a luxury cell for protective custody. Because the thing with the protective custody is it's not like Supermax, where they're bad people. You know, they're, they're not bad people. They're just... They're just wanted and in trouble. They're just in trouble because bad people want to hurt them. So we're just going to make them a real nice, big old dormitory to fit as many protective custody people as we need as many as we need and we're gonna put some toilets back here we're gonna put some toilets and we're gonna put some showers back there because tell you what they're, they're good kids and they just need toilets and showers and all the good stuff you know they've done nothing wrong in fact some of them are like ex-guards and ex-police and not only have they not done anything wrong but they've done some good so we're gonna have to put them back in there and let's also make this as protected only. And then we'll create this as a little, like... To be honest, I don't know what we're doing with this space yet. I'll have to figure it out as we go on. Hmm. Hmm. We'll, we'll just figure it out as we go. Now let's go ahead and get some water in here, because we don't have any hooked up yet. Run this down, run this over. And then run it in. With that, do we have any hot water nearby? We have some hot water over here, but I'm not sure if it'll make it all the way down. But we can always try. Hmm. Alright, and there's this bit done. And I suppose what we could do is we could create a little, like, a... Uh... Could make a little cafeteria here, but I'm not sure if we want to. I think that prisoners will just get delivered their stuff. I think prisoners will just have their stuff delivered to them. Meals delivered to them. But you know what? I think we'll have to create their own little area. So for now, let's go ahead and create... Go to our... Thing. And we're going to go ahead and say... Lock up. That's going to be the deal with protective custody people. They're just going to be locked up all the time. No freedom. You're either lock up or at the meal. You're going to be in your place all day. And you know what? Let's also get, like, a camera in there, so that way we can keep an eye on what they're doing. CCTV. There it is. Alright, let's get a camera in there. To keep an eye on them. We'll give them some chairs and some, like, exercise equipment. But yeah, I don't want them running around, because then they'll just get themselves in trouble. They'll, like, run into a Supermax person. And let's see, can we pray to say this is protected only? Good. Good, 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 good. Now let's create a little uh, bar here to separate this from that. This over here is going to be a kitchen. And then this over here is going to be a canteen. 
And they are both going to be protective custody only. And let's go ahead and set up a serving table. And then we'll go ahead and set up some regular tables. Some regular tables and chair tables and benches. And that should be enough to set up this canteen. Bam, 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 bam. There we are. Protective custody canteen. Already. Now let's go ahead and while we're here, let's set up some uh, weight benches. That these guys can use. So that way they don't get all that bone, all that atrophy. The atrophy from not doing anything all day. Alright, that's the wrong way. Okay, can we hook that up? All right, now does that unhook anything else? It appears as though it might, but I'm not sure. I don't think it does. I think everything works fine. All right, and with that, we do have eyes on protective custody. That should mean that we w they won't be in any danger. And it means that we won't have any more deaths. Well, at least anytime soon, anyways. Jeez, oh, Pete. I'm not going to be able to edit that out. That's too loud to edit out. Oh, in case I've never mentioned it to you guys, or you guys never heard it, I live near the highway. So every once in a while, you have someone drive by really, 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 really fast. And they'll just be so fast, and you'll be able to hear it. And may, and I don't know why, but they just do. It's, it's why I always got to check the dates of the month before I record. Because you never know when you'll like be when I'll be recording, and then I'll be like, "Oh no, today is that day where all the bikers are gonna go out, and they're gonna drive down the hallway, drive down the hallway. I mean, drive down the uh, highway, and it's just gonna make everything. It's gonna make it really difficult to record without it really being really noisy. You know, and I hate it when that happens because I want to make sure that I have crisp, clear audio. I don't want my audio getting screwed up by some people driving down the road, but sometimes that's what happens. You know? No matter what you do, sometimes things will just go bad. And that's a life lesson. Speaking of going bad, it seems there's a situation. What's going on over here? Oh! Okay, time for a shakedown! They think they can hide another tunnel, but you know what? They can't. They can't hide that tunnel. I know it's, I know it's there. They, somebody here is digging a tunnel, and I'm going to find out who. I'm going to find out who's digging that tunnel. And they're getting sent straight to jail. Wait a minute, we're already in jail. They're getting sa sent straight to super jail. That's where they're, they're going, super jail. All right. Finding a couple of knives, a whole bunch of drugs. Hmm. I think it's the, yeah, it's the problem with this area not being completely sealed up. We need to get, like, a bi-layer. We need to get another layer of fence. I think that's what we need to do. But that takes so much effort. Hmm. That takes some time. Is that something we want to do today? You know what? It wouldn't be an end of the world. We can do that just fine. Oh, hey! Is that, is that the tunnel? Hey! There it is! There it is! There's the tunnel. Gotcha! You're, you're going straight to super jail. That's where I'm going to send you. Straight to super jail. You guys think regular jail is bad? Wait till you get to super jail. Hmm, you got no idea what you're getting into. In super jail, you don't want to get... <laughs> In super jail, they don't give you shower gel like I do. They give you regular soap. Did I ever mention that previously? It's an established canon that whenever I build a, build a uh, prison, you know, oh no, what's going on? What are they doing? Oh! Oh no, don't look at it. Don't don't look at it. Don't don't look too close. It was a fight, but she was naked. I didn't want to look too close out of fear of lay de demonetization, you know. You never know when YouTube might freak out and demonetize your videos. All right, what else were we doing? Phone booth. That was something we needed. Let's look at prison room quality. Phone booth, bookshelf, chair, outdoor window would be nice. Let's get some chairs in here. Let's get some nice chairs in here. Oh no, something bad's happening. And it was something relatively nearby. And it was in there. Okay. Snitch gang member. Didn't expect 
for a gang member to be a snitch. Okay, here we go. Alright, everything's settled down. Perfectly fine. One time issue, hopefully. Now we'll have that. We'll also give them need to give them some way to like hmm. What else what other needs do they have? They need warmth. They want freedom. Hmm. What is their schedule again? What is their schedule again? Um lock up and then eat. Yep, that's it. I should give them a source of recreation. You know what? I'll give them a radio. That's what I'll give them. I'll give them a radio like, uh, I don't know, right here? Here's a decent spot for it. And we'll give them a radiator here so that way they're not so freezing all the time. You know, because it's really cold in this prison for whatever reason. Because women, they always feel cold. And it's even worse when in this prison. <laughs> I, I should have elaborated on that joke. I, sh I should have made a better... Why are women... You know, I should have made a better joke about that. I should have created a bigger setup for the women. Why are they always cold? Joke. I should have set up. I should have worked on a better joke there. Hmm. I suppose that the lack of stress is like slowing me down a bit. Maybe? I don't know. I think the stress is that we need more money. And how busy is the canteen right now? The question is whether we're going to need a new canteen. Well, not just if, but when. I think we're going to need some more cooks, that's for sure. Because these this amount of cooks, they ain't doing the deal. I need more cooks in here. Cooks, get to work. Get some food out there so that way they aren't starving. This is a kitchen. Why else would you... Why else would you work here? They need food. You know what? They're getting hangry. This is what happens when they get hangry. They kill snitches. Tell you what, informants. I need to know. Who here is a snitch? She's a snitch and she's dead. All right, I'm gonna activate both of you kids. You're gonna come over. You're gonna tell me who I need to work out for. Look out for. I need to know snitches. I need to know who they are, where they are, when they are. Let me know about that. Get over here. Everybody, get over. I need to know the snitches. I need to know the snitches that are still alive, so that way I can move them to. Oh, hey, there's a dead snitch. There's a snitch. You're going into protective custody. Boy, oh boy. Tell you what, protective custody, it seems like a bit of a rough break, I gotta say. You know, they're they're just always stuck. They're just gonna be stuck in a room all day. But it's for their own good. Instigator. I ought to get you somewhere. Strong, tough, alright. Is that everyone? Is everyone there right now? Get everyone to the room. Hmm. It'll be much harder for them to get them when they're sort of locked in that room, though. That's definitely good. Get a guard in there to let her in. And alright, is that everyone accounted for? Is that all of the snitches accounted for? Volatile, tough, instigator, stoical, stoical. Yep, looks like everyone's sort of accounted for here. Go back to your days. I think we have most of the, most of the snitches ready. And we should hopefully be informed if there's any more that we don't have yet. And oh hey, look at this. Look at this, the water heater is one away from being accounted for. It's just one away from the water heater getting it. Tell you what, I got an idea. Let's go ahead and put a water heater in here. That can't go wrong. Oh boy, that reminds me, we don't have water sprinklers anywhere. We need to get water sprinklers around in case there's another, like, fire around here. That's something I forgot. Because tell you what, if there's going to be fire, it's going to be in the kitchen, the workshop, or the main area. And we want to have those places protected. Because tell you what, these fires, they ain't cheap. They ain't cheap. Also, I don't think this person... You know what, I think we need more family cells. I think we need more family cells. We'll have to build some more soon. Uh, which is always... Family cells, they just take up so much room. I can't jam-pack as many people in there as I'd like. I'd like to put like a thousand people into each, but tell you what, you can't always do that. Like, family-style prisons, you need to like, fit them into like... They take up a lot of room compared to just jam-packing them into these tiny dormitories. Which is why I'm not a big fan. I mean, I am big, and I am kind of not a fan. But I'm not a big fan, tell you what. Alright, what else were we gonna do? Oh yeah, that's right. Offices for psychologists. Five by five. 
Okay, if it's 5x5, five five, that means that it'll be like... No, no, no. 6x6 six six is to make it 4x4 four four on the inside. That's the correct way to make a 5x5. Five five. Alright. Also, what were we going to do? Parole. That was another thing we needed to do. With our new parole room, we can go ahead and make a ton of parole hearings. And that should, uh, should get us moving through people quicker. And let's go ahead and create a regular old door to let people in. To let people in. Come on, spell it right. There we are, I did. I spelt it right. So that way people can actually get into the office. And we're going to do the same old, same old way of building an office, which is as per usual. You know, if it works, why change it? We're going to put a chair back here. And then we're going to put a desk right here. And then we're going to put a filing cabinet right here. Is that the same way I always do it? Yeah, it looks like it. All right. With the chair closer to the papers. Yeah, that works. All right. Let's go create another 5x5 five five here. And I'll create another door here. And that should be an effective entrance. Now let's go ahead and put a psychologist in here. And then we'll have to create some behavioral therapy sessions. Behavioral therapy. Wait, what the heck did I just do? I hit it. I hit it. Oh, we don't need the GED yet. Not enough people ready for that. All right, we'll get some behavioral therapy going though, and that'll do some good. And then we'll copy this room into this room, and then we'll have another psychologist. And then with this other psychologist, we'll have to make sure that he's actually doing that like Alcoholics Anonymous program, alcoholic group therapy, which requires a common room. Seats. Hmm. I'll have to get that together some other time. Right now we're going to work on behavioral therapy. And maybe we should set up another, like, common room. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Tell you what, it probably would be a good idea. Actually, why get another one we can just make this one bigger? Yeah, why would I make another one if I can just make this one bigger? Let's just make this one super big. Wait a minute. Actually, never mind. Then I won't be able to see all the way through. What am I going to do with this little space? I suppose we might as well build this. And then later we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. Because tell you what, we're going to do something with it. I don't know what yet, but it'll be something. And oh boy! We're not making a whole lot of money right now. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. We need to make family cells. But we'll get some new people in. And hopefully we'll get some people making some money. With the, uh... You know, with the the uh, workshop. Nobody's moving the uh, license plates out. License plates aren't going to make us a whole lot of money. Boards is where the money's at. And hopefully they'll have the good sense to bring the boards into the workshop. Oh, we're really low on money. We'll have to think about selling stock. We'll have to think about that. And then building some more stuff. I think we just need to worry about economies of scale and getting even more people into the prison to deal with our lack of stuff. Our lack of money. Alright, $400 in guard meals. Meals, that's not ideal. Tell you what, let's go ahead and take a bank loan. 25k, that's a lot of money. I'm going to have to remember to pay that off later. Alright, let's move the uh, power into here. And I don't know what I want to put into this room. Our laundry room is enough. What are our needs right now? Needs. Hygiene is big, family is big, warmth is big. We have a shower down there. You know what? It wouldn't hurt to have another shower. Lock that open. Lock that open. Let's go ahead and set up that shower. First things first, we're going to put some toilets in it. So that way there isn't as big of a run into the yard in the morning. And then we'll put some shower heads. Shower head uh, down through there. Shower head through here. And then a shower head through here. Shower head through here. Share thread through here. Share thread head through there. And alright, this should work like a good shower room. And we'll have some little walls in the middle for aesthetic purposes. So that way it doesn't look like they're free floating from nowhere. And we'll go ahead and make this a shower room. Shower room. 
Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Now let's hook up some pipes into it. Excuse me for that long, long sort of yawn thing. I never realize how lo loud I yawn. I, I, I yawn really loudly sometimes. You know, it's like yawn of relief. Like, oh man, it feels good to have that done. All right, let's pull that up there. Hot water. Question is, can we get hot water up there? Let's find out. Let's find out if we can get some hot water up here. Give me some of that hot water. I need it. I want it, I need it, I need it to make me feel completed. Go and take it, don't break it. Gotta live in the moment. Is that how the how the Death Grips song goes? I don't remember. I don't remember everything that's in that song. It's been a while since I've listened to that one intensely. But you know what I do? I do know it has one thing. And that is, of course, an end. And speaking of having an end... I think it's time for this episode to have an end. Oh, that was a bad segue, but tell you what, aren't they always? Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed filming it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the series. Make sure that you leave a like if you're enjoying it, because that's how I tell interest in series. Um, all in all, if you have any comments or such, put them in the comments below. If you have, If you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. All in all, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.